Hey guys, we're going to do a quick tutorial on lettering, specifically how to make a balloon tail in Illustrator. So I've already placed my dialog in the balloons and I've resized the balloons. They're a little off, but it's fine for what we're doing. Um, technically speaking for this scene, this is actually being spoken by an off-screen or off-panel character. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to pretend the guy at the bottom is speaking. So the first thing you want to do is select your pen tool. And when you draw a balloon, you want to make sure that the tail points towards the person's mouth. And you probably want the tail to reach about two-thirds of the way to the character. So to get started, I have my pen tool selected. I'm going to hit D, and that sets it to default so the inside of the tail is white and the border is black. And then I'm going to click a point near the edge of the balloon about where I want the tail to come out. So in this case, I'm going to click right around here. I'm going to click once and then just let go. I'm going to move about two-thirds of the way towards the character and then I'm going to click the mouse and hold it. While holding it, I'm going to stretch the arc of the line out and I can move it all in crazy ways. Uh, in this case, you just want a nice smooth arc that's going to point to the character's mouth. All right, And then I let go. After I've let go, I press the Alt button and I'm going to click on the point I just made. Then I'm going to go back to the balloon and I'm going to select the point where the tail is going to come back into it. I don't want it too close and I don't want it too far away. I want somewhere like around here. I'm going to click and hold and once again I'm going to make my art. You want it nice and smooth. You know you don't want it to be like that. You don't want it to be like that. You don't want it to be like this. You want something nice where the top of it is kind of fat and it comes to a point uh, and it kind of takes time just to get used to doing this so don't feel bad if it takes you a while and once I am happy with how it looks I'm gonna go ahead and let go uh, that's not bad uh, in this case though let's go ahead and double check if you notice it's pointing it's kind of pointing to the top of his forehead or I feel like his mouth might be a little bit down here so it would solve problems like this just select the tail you just drew use the rotate tool and just slightly rotate it to till it's where you need it to be like for so once done if you're happy with it select your tail hold the shift button select your balloons and go to object group once they're a group go to effect pathfinder add that merges the balloons and tail together and then go to a object a range send it back and there you go that's how you do the basic tail and then merge it into the balloons um object right, undo undo i'm going to undo what we just did because technically as i said at the start of this this is being said by an off-screen character so to do that i'm going to go ahead and get my pen tool out hit d to make sure it's white and black and i'm going to I think technically speaking the person is standing that way so we're going to have the tail come out and exit at the top of the panel to do that I'm going to select inside I'm going to select outside not letting go so I'll, I can make my little arch something just a little something small little subtle thing there let go press the alt button and hold it while holding alt select the point then I'm going to select a new point. You don't want it too close. You want it kind of just a little bit farther away so it's got a, a flat edge. Make a new point. Hold the Alt button. Select the new point. Then go to where you want the tail to come back into the balloon. Use the mouse. Select it without letting go. And then just make your uh, arch. Once done, select the tail. Select the balloon. Select the balloon. Object group effect pathfinder add object arrange send it back booyah there you go that's the basics of how to make a tail and then how to merge it with your balloons